I don't know if you guys go make them out or not. Look at all the ducks. If I was a duck hunter, I'd be in paradise. But I'm not. You do see a lot of wildlife. You're out here wandering around. Look right in range. I hear them getting up. Here they come. You got them all stirred up. And they're shitting on the water. Motherfuckers. I see what it is. They're dropping bombs. Take cover. On here, we'll see how she does. I didn't want to bring too much. I just figured I'd get some out today. Get some out tomorrow when I check. I don't know. We'll get to the water and see if it, how good it floats because I'm pretty fat, so stay tuned. Well, I found a good spot to start here and then I realized I forgot my wire cutters because I thought I had everything, but I didn't. Well, that'll slow me down a little bit. But I found some huts right here in this vegetation, so I'll give it a shot. It's a little crowded in here. I probably need to put my tote in front of me, but I really can't move much at the moment. I need a bigger boat. Set that right there. I'm gonna go around the other side and put one on another spot. Maybe if there's another spot. I think there's one right there I could put some. You can see where they chewed on stuff. Still building, looks like. Show you guys a nap. I got an app called I Go Trapping. 
I'm going to mark, make a set. New trap line. Swamp. Make a set. Let's see. Set type. Blind set. 1.5 Duke. I don't know. I don't know if you guys even be able to see this, but no lure. I'm and for notes. I'm putting muskrat. Hit done. Save it. Automatically puts in your coordination, your 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 uh, GPS coordinates and stuff, and it'll take you right back to this set. It's I go trapping. I just downloaded the app for $3.99. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just, it's pretty cool. As long as you got service wherever you're at. You need to be able to see the maps. Okay, I'm going over to that hut real quick. I think, there's one over there too. How deep is this? That's not too bad. I think I'll just put my hip waders on and I can just walk back and forth in here without having to drive through this shit. And then when the ice gets on, I'll use all my Kana bears. But I can't get to this spot without the canoe. It's really deep and other spots. Get me a trail started. Let me play a hut over that way. It's gonna be good with the if I get some good ice this year. One right there. Beautiful out though. I really don't do a lot of these sets. Like I said, it's uh, usually all frozen this time of year. And I usually get shit ice. I got some people over this way. Kind of making me a little nervous. That's kind of a thing with doing videos is you draw attention. Our last DNR said we were stupid for posting stuff. I enjoy it. 
Hopefully one of the locals don't just follow my line one of these days and steal everything. But Put the, under the water a little bit. They'll climb up here to eat. I'm gonna up losing my oar here. All right, stay tuned, I'll find another hut. Keep her going. Guys, here's a feeder hut. Or not a hut, a feeder bed, I mean. Classic one. See, that's why I'm more looking for this than I am huts, but still gotta set the huts. And they're harder to spot out here than, and there's, a, there's another hut up in front of me. Well, I'm just gonna use the vegetation around me to wire off to you. That's where this GPS, this Igo trapping app is gonna come in handy. And I wish I would have brought some wire cutters. Mm. Do it the old fashioned way. I did have this in my bag. I don't know what I need that for. There's a whole box of traps behind me that I need to get up in front next stop. There ain't much to these. I guess I should see how deep it is. I'm gonna use this guy. Where's he at? There we go. This is one of them stakes where you're like, you know what, I don't know how to, how muddy that is. I'm gonna make a st few stakes for like really bad areas. And there's one of them. I'm gonna use it right here. Someone say, why don't you use your hammer? It's up there in there. I'm not gonna go get it. I would think that there'd be more crap on the on here, but there's not. It's actually big enough for two sets. This has been frozen once already. Come on, they get up here and eat. And they flop off and drown. That's kind of what the stake over here is for. They'll jump off and drown somewhere. I'm going to wire this other one up onto this tree right here. Pretty sure it's strong. It's plenty big enough. would like to thank Flare TV for, or Flare Fishing, 
I'd like to thank Flair Fishing for following me on Instagram. A lot of you know that he bought land right, right across the road from me. And he recently followed me on my Instagram. Okay, there's a feed bed set. Get that chain underwater. Get through here. But I feel kind of honored because he's only got like 500 and something that he follows, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can see the, how hard, how much smaller those seed beds are. Come on, get out here. Get out into the big channel here. Maybe. Trees. Found. Thank God. Oh, so much better. <clears throat> Could have sworn I didn't pick him up though. I must have. Yeah, I would make it just a hair short, wouldn't I? Darn it. Yeah, that's about perfect. Just about perfect, really. I know how to do it. Let me get up and down on that. I can move this stuff over just a little bit. That way, they almost go right up on the center. I like that. Go right up on that. Yeah, I just found uh, this hut out here in the middle. There's one over there too. But this one looks super active. It's got all kinds of stuff going on here. We'll put up some feed beds down here. really good I used the uh, muskrat for my bobcat bait usually so I like to catch some and there's possibly another hut over there I'm about to go check it out
Yeah, I just go right there. Chewings, eh? I think I'll probably put three of them. Put one there and one over there. Definitely have to get some 110s for tomorrow. Bring them. There's definitely some runs to be done. Set. set up on to the next stay tuned all right i got my battery changed and i know the beaver swim through here because i catch them here all the time catch otters here too here's my cast around set they're coming up here and cutting these small branches.
All right, I got my canine extreme beaver trap. Perfect little bed just under, just under the water. Yeah, if coon comes through and I catch a coon, I catch a coon. But this should attract a beaver. And it's very deep here. My drowning rod is going straight down. I would have a hell of a time getting my traps back if I dropped them right here. Oh, there's a log or something under there. All right, I made another caster mound, got Def Dunlap's lure on it. That's set in there solid. Got a fake slide there. And then here, I put in a 330. We can go down to the eyes here in Missouri for otter. So could get an otter or a beaver coming in. It could come out here and get him going back in. They might come out somewhere else. So put a 330 there. Drowning rod there with the extreme beaver trap. Cast him out. And I got something over here I want to show you guys. I was, I was walking back and forth. And I seen this guy. Get this off here. Check it out. Even when I'm not shedding, I'm fine in sheds. So. He been through the flood. He's all dirty. Kind of cool looking. I know some people on here dig my shed hunting videos. That's just a pretty cool find out here. I wasn't even looking. And there's another duck decoy. They're everywhere. But. I'm going to toss in a couple rat cane sets over here real quick. And I'll keep on going. So stay tuned. All right guys, I just set a dog proof there. And I got one over there and then I just happened to come over here to take a leak. And there's coon shit all over right here, so I'm gonna put one here too. Might as well. I get as much fur as possible while I'm out here. Tomorrow will be catches. I think I'm gonna swing by some of them muskrat sets on the way back. See if I didn't happen to catch something. I know if I was setting one tens and runs, there was a good, there'd be a good chance I'd have something on the way back. Yeah, I got DP here. There's one over here. I'm gonna get back in, cruise around, see what else I can find, and I'll get back with you. All right, I got another raccoon trail that runs this way. Runs right along the edge of the swamp right here. Right on the trail. I'm gonna tie it off to that tree branch there. beavers are cutting here. You can see all their cuttings. I think about putting a caster mound right there. They've definitely been up here recently. There's some tracks there. So if I put a caster mound there that'll get their attention. You can see this coon trail right here. Running right along here.
And I got a video where I made these extensions for the dog proofs. You slip it over that. Make sure your tree's good. You can don't take your tree with it. Make sure you got your trap tag. Right there, just like that. I've been piercing a marshmallow on the trigger. Little Billy Dor says liquid coon lure. A little bit does does the job. Check out Billy Doors on Facebook, Okeecha Valley River Trading Post. I'm just trying to see what's going on now. You guys see big trees down like this? It's a good place to look for raccoons. There's a whole bunch of scat right there. There's a hole of some sort. There's some fresh scat there. Big pile there. This is definitely a den tree. They're definitely living right here somewhere. It looks really good. I'm gonna split this up real good. Bring some water up here. Get my spot for my trap. Smash down there. Make them think somebody else is around. I need to get some mud now. Oh, tree roots. Ain't much mud on the bottom here. I'll be all it'll take. I'm gonna send him out to that deep hole right there. It's getting cold. Gotta find a hard spot for that guy. Damn roots out of the way. This is kind of different for my neck of the woods. We don't usually have trees in the water like this. This is kind of cool. Reminds me of you guys down south. It's all flooded. But I think I'm about had enough fun for one day. I got a few coon traps to check real quick and then 
I'm out of here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Should have some fur for sure.